Hello everybody, Charm here, and today I wanted to talk about a shiny hunting method in Scarlet and Violet. Today is um, 28th, I'm pretty sure. It's Thanksgiving, but I don't care about Thanksgiving. So the game has only been out for like a week and a half. So um, obviously since the game's so new and there's so much that we like haven't figured out yet, all of this stuff is very new to me and it might be new to you too, which is why I wanted to make this video because I discovered uh, something neat you can do while shiny hunting to duplicate your shinies while using the mass outbreak function. Um, I just used it tonight for this shiny bombardier, or um, bombardier, <laughs> but um, yeah. So I wanted to give a shout out to the YouTuber Pat Thickness, um, who first discovered that you could kind of duplicate um, shinies via this method. I will link their video in the description and I'm also going to put it on screen here. Uh, I watched that and I got very inspired by that and I, um, I also had heard, I hadn't tried this out myself at the time, but I had heard people talking about the picnic shiny hunting method. Now, um, that is a new shiny hunting method that people have discovered and I try I had a thought and I was wondering if you could combine the picnic shiny hunting method with the union circle method of duplicating shinies so that you could shiny hunt with the picnic method while duplicating it. So I just did this tonight with my boyfriend Aiden. Shout out to him, it is raining. Um yeah. So I'm gonna go over all of that. So similar to Legends Arceus, there are mass outbreaks in this game. Um, they work a little bit differently to how they worked in that game, but they can be used to give you shinies. Now there are um, better guides for this online, so I'm just gonna give a shortened version, but basically you go to the map and you will see a Pokemon icon or if you haven't discovered the Pokemon yet, it will show a question mark. I don't have any of those right now, but um, if, you're, if you're just starting your game and you haven't completed your Pokedex, you'll probably see that around. Um, but that's what that is. That's a mass outbreak. Now the one we went to tonight was this Bombardier one, obviously. But basically, um, just a shortened version when you're doing the mass outbreaks, um, the shiny rates get halved depending on how many Pokemon you defeat. When you defeat 30 Pokemon, they cut they cut down first. And then once you defeat 60 Pokemon, the shiny rate cuts down to 1,365, which is pretty low shiny rate. Uh, I'm someone who's taken a liking to shiny hunting in the older games where the odds were 1 in 8,000. I prefer the full hunt odds, but um, I was very interested in this method. So that cuts it down to make shiny hunting pretty easily, in my opinion. Um, but um, the problem is when you're just defeating Pokemon, the mass outbreak will eventually die down. But there is one way that you can kind of prevent it from doing that. So this picnic hunting method, was once you defeat 60 Pokemon, um, you can run around, check to see if they are shiny, and if they are not, you can start up a picnic. And what starting up a picnic does is it despawns all of the Pokemon in the area, and it will respawn them once you get out of the picnic. Um, and so basically it just re-rolls all of the shiny chances that you had so basically, if you don't have a shiny, you can just re-roll it over and over again, and there's no limit to how many picnics you can make unless the mass outbreak disappears on its own, um, which can happen. The mass outbreaks only last for so long, but um, we were at this for about an hour, and it didn't die down, so um, yeah. Um, so basically, you just start up a picnic to re-roll the shiny spawns. So I wanna go over how you can specifically use the union circle in tandem with the picnic hunting to get duplicate shiny Pokemon. Now, union circle is something you can unlock in the game um, pretty early on after you, not even after you've completed the 
poke the tutorial uh but it's this option right here um so it's best to do this with someone that you know so like you could do it with someone you know in real life or maybe on discord just whatever you need a friend to do this or a second switch and a second copy of the game um but you can form a group and then you and your group can go out and uh, encounter Pokemon together. Now, it's important to note that you get the same spawns of Pokemon, but only one person can fight or battle or catch a Pokemon uh, normally when you're doing this. Like, if I see a wild Pokemon and I go to encounter it, I can fight it, I can catch it, I can run away, but my boyfriend, if he were playing with me, for example, or if I just had a friend, they cannot then go and encounter the same Pokemon unless you do this specific method. Um, and so um, when you're doing this, you have to be careful not to accidentally encounter like a shiny Pokemon um, without doing like the proper work first or else you could accidentally despawn it for them. Um, I also want to mention some other things that are good uh, just before we get into this. You're going to want to make sure that you have autosave turned off in your options because um this can mess with what we're going to do and you're gonna be want to be very attentive because in pokemon legends arceus for example when a wild shiny pokemon spawned they made like a sound um but and they sparkled but in this game when a shiny pokemon first spawns it doesn't make a sound or sparkle until you actually initiate a battle with it so you need to be very paying attention looking making sure that you're using your eyeballs basically <laughs> so when you start a union circle the hosts pokemon spawns are what's favored so what that means is if I have two switches and I'm looking at mass outbreaks on one switch and then I'm looking at mass outbreaks on another switch, if, let's say, um, let's look for an outbreak. If I wanted to um, go to, if I wanted to shiny hunt specifically with this Bombardier outbreak like we did, this switch would have to be the hosting switch. So they would have to be the one that hosts and forms the union circle in the poker portal um and the host spawns are what's favored so um once you go there the host is going to be the one hosting picnics um and respawning the pokemon essentially um now when you host a picnic using Union Circle, the other person can join into the picnic. And so what we were doing just to be safe was that I hosted the picnic and then my boyfriend came and he would join the picnic every single time just to make sure that everything despawned properly. I'm not sure, I don't, I didn't test out too much, but I think that when I started hosting the picnic before he even joined, they all despawned for him as well. Um, but the host is going to be the one hosting the picnic, and they're going to be the ones with the spawn's favor. Now, once you see the shiny, you're going to see in this recording, I found the shiny, the host needs to save their game. Um, similar to how it worked in Legends Arceus, um, you can save over shinies. So if I were to see the shiny right here and I save in front of it, then when you, if you reset, the shiny should still be there. But the host the, is the one where the actual shiny is on their switch so the host needs to save in front of it and then the friend or second player or who or the second system who's connected to the host they need to encounter the the shiny pokemon and then they can catch it they only get one chance to catch it so um you just gotta be very good with your catches then the second person will catch the pokemon and then they need to leave the union room and the host cannot save their game. They just have to reset their system without saving, which is why it's important to have autosave off because you don't want to accidentally save over. And once you've saved over, or once you've saved over the shiny, the other person has caught the shiny and you've reset the game. Once you start the game back up, the shiny should still be there and you should be able to encounter it on the host system. And then you will both have caught the shiny so right here i reloaded my game that was the shiny you encounter it 
So now it's on both systems and then you can catch it from there. And that's pretty much the extent of what we did with this method. Um, as you can see, we both have the shiny Pokemon now on two different systems, so you can essentially duplicate shinies. Um, I don't want to take credit for this because I know that uh, other people discovered this, specifically Pat Thickness, the YouTuber that I mentioned earlier. I was inspired by that. But I'm not sure if anyone has, like, combined it with the picnic method, and I'm not sure if anyone had made, like, a guide on it i was a little confused when i was looking it up specifically what to do which is the purpose of this video i wanted to make it easier for other people to understand specifically what to do to get this method to work so i hope that all of your shiny hunts go well and thanks for watching